two top welterweight contenders, Robert Guerrero and Danny Garcia, will battle it out Saturday, January 23rd at the Staples Center in Los Angeles, California. And at stake will be a vacant WBC world title. And it's a fight that has career implications beyond that for both men. For Garcia, who's 27, he comes into this fight with a 31-0 record, but he's had a couple of very close calls. This is his fourth fight in the welterweight division, and he's got two good wins as a welterweight over Pauli Malignaggi and Lamont Peterson. Guerrero comes into this fight with a 33-3-1 record. He's best known to boxing fans for his challenge against Floyd Mayweather in 2012 when he fought for the welterweight title. He failed to win that, losing in 12 rounds. But previous to that, he had been both the featherweight and super featherweight world champion. In his last two fights, he had a close split decision win against Aaron Martinez and before that, lost to Keith Thurman by decision. Now let's take a look at the keys to victory. For Danny Garcia, it's important for him to stay off the ropes. Garcia is excellent at pressuring fighters once he gets them on the ropes and roughing them up. Garcia needs to use angles. If he stands right in front of Guerrero, he'll be a better target for him. And the left hook has always been a weapon for Garcia. It's his big power punch and should land against the lefty Guerrero. A quick pace is very important for Guerrero in this fight. As he attacks, however, he can't ignore defense because Garcia is a very good counterpuncher with power. He's got to get Danny Garcia against the ropes where he can maul him, brawl him, use his uppercuts and his good body punching to get the job done. I mentioned earlier there were career implications for both these fighters. Well, for Danny Garcia, people are wondering whether he can be effective at 147 pounds. There's still some question about that. He wants to put those to rest in this fight. As for Robert Guerrero, he is in the twilight of what has been a long and great career, but one that has had many arduous fights. And some believe, based on his last couple of fights, he's starting to decline a bit. He wants to show that he belongs in the upper echelon of the welterweight division. It should be a good one on Saturday, January 23rd in Los Angeles.